I did not know Laura as well as some of you did. But I've asked God to reveal her soul to me. And what a beautiful one she has. I know that everyone here loved Laura. And I know it's hard to let her go. But let us not forget that God's love is greater than any love that we could get. And you must know that God has her in a better place. She's in his hands now. And so I ask that you allow that to bring your sense of peace. Let us bow our heads. Dear God, we ask that you provide us with the peace that passes all understanding. In your word, you say that your thoughts are not our thoughts. And your ways are not our ways. So I ask that you continue to remind us that although we don't understand this loss, we still move forward. And having faith that all things work for our good. Protect this family as they push forward. We know they can make it. In these things we pray. Amen. I miss you so much, sweetheart. You were supposed to go back to work today. Called your office, no answer. So you figured I'd be here, huh? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm just, uh, I'm just thinking. I'm worried about her. This is a lot. Just give her some time. She's a smart kid. It's always hard losing a parent. My dad passed, I didn't know what I was gonna do. But she's talking to me. She pulled through. Remember what we talked about? Yeah, look, I... I don't know, man. It's, it's too soon for that. It's just not the right time. She's here. Come on. It's so nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. I hope I'm not intruding. Ray said today might be a good day to meet. Uh -oh. I have a meeting to go to. I'd love to stay, but... I'm so sorry for your loss. I can only imagine how hard this is. Thank you. Yeah, it's... It's been rough, but, uh... For her especially. Yeah, she's a tough kid, though, so... Listen, I know this can be overwhelming to handle. If you ever need somebody to talk to, or just somebody to listen, please don't hesitate to call. Well, a couple more. I was in Meet Yourself a Free <laughs> Smoothie, so... That's the wrong card. Um... <laughs>
You should always be with us, you know that, right? But she's not. She's gone and she's never coming back. Why'd she have to leave us? She was sick for so, so long. It was just her time to go. But I don't want her to go. I know, sweetheart. I know. Do you think you'll ever date again? I I don't know, but before she went, she she told me that she wanted me, she wanted us to move on, to be happy. You know I love you and your mother more than the entire world, right? Morning, honey. You, you sleep well? Yeah, I guess. Uh, well, I mean, I made breakfast, uh, bacon, eggs, pancakes, or... Are you hungry? Sure. Shit. God damn it. God damn it. Come on. Dad. You some coffee and muffins. Yeah, well, thank you so much. That's sure. so sweet. One of those is a hot chocolate. Yeah. No. Dad? Who's this? Uh, uh, honey, this is this is Alexis. This is Ray's friend. She's gonna be helping out around here for a little bit. Ah, uh, what time is it? Crap. I'm already late for my first day back to work. Um, look, I, I hate to ask, but would you be able to take Liz to school today? Of course. Seriously? Yeah, no problem. That, that would be incredible. Okay, I usually would. It's just... It's, it's okay. I got okay, it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, have a good day and be good. Also tells me right here is fine. You can drop me off. But the school's right up here. Here is fine. I can walk from here. Okay. Are you sure?
You're getting home late. Dad? He's not here. He ran an errand, he'll be right back. I'm making chicken alfredo. Why are you here? You have absolutely no right to be in this house. It's only been three months. Here you are, just snuggling up to my dad. I bet you're only here for his money. You shouldn't talk to your elders like that, young lady. In fact, I'm pretty sure your dad wouldn't be happy to know you're speaking to me like that. I know exactly why you're coming in late. Call the school. Coach said you never showed up for practice. Mind explaining yourself? Yeah, yeah. Let me know. I'll call you back in a little bit. Hey, I'm back. All right, all right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, honey. Hey, grab some wine for dinner just in case you might want a glass. Sure, I'd love one. You want me to go ahead and start setting the table? or? That'd be great. Yeah. All right, perfect. So, uh, how was school? Fine. Did you learn anything new? Lots. Did you make any new friends? A ton. How was practice? Your dad tells me you're quite the volleyball star. It was fine. Same old, same old. But coach is getting a bit stressed with state coming up. Is that why you were late? State to get some extra practice in? How diligent. Dad, I don't feel too good. Can I go to bed? Sure. I should go. No, it's it's fine, really. Help me with the dishes. Of course.
This house is incredible. Yeah, it's nice. Look, if I may ask, how are you, Brett? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I don't really know. I'm just, I'm just kind of hoping that it that it gets a little better, uh, especially for. It will. And she will too. Strong dad like you, she's got no choice. Hey, um, I just, I wanted to say thank you for, uh, for dinner and, uh, I mean, just really everything else. Uh, it's been such a big help. Uh, I just, I don't even really know how to say thank you. It's my pleasure. If there's ever anything I can do to repay you, then just... Oh my God, no. It's the least I can do to help a friend. So I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night. Liz.
is a bit. doing um just thinking what is this dad what why would you go through my my things my 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 book i need to know i need to know what that is they're just drawings, Dad. No, honey, those, those are not just drawings. Stop that. Stop what? I know what you're thinking. That, that I'm, that I'm sick, that there's something wrong with me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not thinking those things. I just, I need you to tell me what that is. They just help me to, to think. To release. It's been hard watching mom die. And to see with that horde just makes things worse. Come on, Dad. Don't look at me like that. I'm not stupid. Who are you talking about? Alexis. Who else? Honey, Alexis, Alexis is Ray's new friend. I'm not stupid. I can see what's going on. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. Alexis is a psychiatrist. Well, what has she been doing here? What's going on, man? Uh, nothing much. What's up? It sounded urgent. Yeah. Uh, can we talk? So, what? You're saying she's crazy? That she's sick? I mean, come on, man. She's just going through something. I mean, we both are. Brent, I'm not saying that she's crazy. I'm not. I'm just saying that I've seen these signs before. My father. Only difference is that war took him. While Liz is having something taken away from her. Look. When my father got back from the war, he was never really the same. I mean, that's normal. You're gonna come back with some battle scars. But 10 years after that, he started to depreciate, started drinking, started seeing false realities, not remembering things that happened 10 hours before until eventually he hung himself. It wasn't until the autopsy that we found out something was really going on. I hate to say it, but I'm just glad he ain't hurt anybody else other than himself. No disrespect, Ray, but she's not your father, man. And this, this isn't war. This is a little girl who lost her mother and she's just, she's going through something. I'm saying that war was the trigger. Being a coach for so long, I've seen what bad thoughts can take these kids. I just don't want it happen to her. I know what I'm saying. Look, uh, I know someone. Remember what we talked about? I don't know, man. It's, it's too soon for that. It's just not the right time. She's here. Hi, Brett. Dr. Alexis Vance, pediatric psychiatrist. So nice to meet you. I know this can seem hard. If you ever need somebody to talk to, please don't hesitate to call me. I'm glad you came in. First step's always the hardest. Yeah, well, Ray, uh, Ray really pushed for it, so. Hello, my boyfriend does have first-hand experience. If I was Ray, I'd push for it too. I, uh, I see why y'all started dating. Brett, based off of what I've been told, I believe that your daughter is suffering from a form of psychosis. Symptoms can include anxiety. Are you sure? Suspicion. Withdrawal. Have a good day at school. And in extreme cases, a person can start to form their own reality. I'm sorry, but... You're saying that you think my daughter is creating her own reality. I mean, come on. I don't know if I can believe that. Brett, it's not uncommon for parents to have a hard time accepting that their child could be going through this. 
But the reality is that Liz might be going through it. Now, whether it's a pre-existing condition or stress-induced, caused by the trauma of losing her mother, I can't say. But if her behavior is not a one-off, she's gonna need some help. All right, so then what do you suppose we do? I'd like to spend some more time with her. If you're okay with it, I'd, I'd like to make some house calls. Liz? Are you okay? But Brett, if my notion is correct, we are gonna have to dive deep. And we're gonna have to seriously think about our next course of action. Or her. necessary but I'm telling you I I don't think there's anything wrong with her Dad Why are you looking at me like that Thank you.